I'm here with another video and in today's video I have a PlayStation 4 Slim console right here and in this video based on the request you guys be making if there's anything you can do it to make it go faster to load up faster or pretty much in general uh, upgrade uh, make it a little better and yes there is a something that you guys can do and it's really good performance ish you will get to load up the game to load up the dashboard or do any programs they can load up really quickly is by upgrading removing the mechanical hard drive that you guys have in here with a solid state drive the solid state drives are they don't have any platters or anything they are blocks of memory blocks in here the ssds are much faster than mechanical drives and if you want to upgrade your playstation or consoles with an ssd drive you will get a really good loadout times and when you power on to the dashboard it will be within a few seconds all right the tools that you're going to be needing for to do this process is really simple it's just a screwdriver set and i use the iFixit tool set these ones they have a, the best tool set out there we're going to be using a phillips number zero all right also you need a little tweezers so what do you want to do now you want to just slide this cover towards the corner just slide it this much about one centimeter and then you just want to grab it and lift it up simply Phillips screw so go ahead and remove this screw and the next thing is to flip it on the other side and lift up this tape and just pull it up really hard and the hard drive is just gonna come with it so there's your mechanical hard drive right here these are 2.5 inch uh, SATA mechanical hard drive or SATA so you want to grab your SSD drive is the same thing 2.5 inch and you want to make sure the contacts is in the same place so you see the big one is on the right or left and the small one on this side this is the power this is the data connection so what you want to do you want to put it right side by side you want to remove the caddy from here because the caddy holds the hard drive in place and you want to put this hard drive just swipe them out remove the screws on this end remove the screws on the other side and um, there are four screws in total remove four of them all right and then you can simply just go ahead and lift up this drive once you lift it up bring the other one in just dump it right in through all right and then once you put the drive in there you're going to see it's just going to go fall all the way down there and the screw holes don't match so pretty much what you want to do you want to grab it from here a little bit and align the screw holes by hand just make sure the screw holes you can see through and just grab the screw put it down by hand make sure you just grab the hard drive put the back end now flip it over to the other side grab the hard drive just move it around make sure the screw holes match and place this one right over here all right now we can use the screwdriver and tighten up the screws you don't need to tighten up too much just firmly just make sure it goes all the way in all right now the hard drive is in place you want to grab the console make sure this end of the where the screw is right here it has to face towards the outer side of the console so bring it over put it in this position and then push down the hard drive all the way down make sure it goes nicely firmly all the way in okay now you want to flip it back on the other side put the silver screw right in the middle where you remove Grab the cover, put it in an offset position, and then slide it back in to place. What you need to do, you go to my video description. I'll leave the link in there to take you step by step how to install the system on the new hard drive. And once you see the difference, you will never ever go back and using a regular mechanical drive. The difference is huge. All right, guys, if you like this video and helped you guys out, click click that thumbs up button and 
I'll really appreciate it if you guys subscribe. It will be a really big help and motivates me to take requests and answer your questions. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video.